Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to change the helium tank on the cardio save. So the little icon for the helium tank is just here. Don't worry about the balloon pump won't stop working when you change the helium tank. It'll have enough helium and give you enough time for you to be able to change the helium tank. So the helium tank is located on the side here. You'll have a picture of a helium tank and HE written there. This part is designed to come off. So you take this off and you slide out your helium tank. The helium tank will be open because that's how the machine actually takes gas every two hours. So what you need to do is you need to close it. So righty tighty to close, lefty loosey to open. So I'm going to turn towards the right. And then you're going to take the old helium tank out. So unscrew here. If you haven't tightened it properly, you'll hear a loud hiss. Don't worry, uh, just work your way backwards, close this part and fix the tank up. Okay. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you this. So this here is called a Bodak seal. Um, if there are cracks in the rubber, the IABP fill won't work. So you generally have two reasons for the IABP fill not working on your machine. Either the tank is not open or you've got a crack in the Bodak seal. Okay, so there's spare ones on the side and if you have issues with the one that's already there, they can easily be replaced. So they just go on, just like that. This part of the balloon pump here, this part goes down on the Bodak seal. So it's a little bit fiddly, make sure it's nice and secure. And then close it in. I'll just check it to make sure that I've put it on properly. Yeah. And then open the helium tank, remember to open it. If you have not done this part correctly, it'll make a loud hiss. Yep. And then slot it back in. put the lid back on top and you're done.